Whenever Facebook interacts with users or applications, certain security measures have to be put in place to make sure that communications with Facebook is secure. So far, we've seen that the JavaScript SDK can easily generate an access token for users. However, for security reasons, the JavaScript SDK is unable to generate an app token. You'll need that to be able to do certain things, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. The app access token is used to make sure our app has permission to perform certain functions. Registering an achievement is one of those functions. You can't create it with JavaScript because you get an app token by using a post command with your application ID, which is public, and your app secret, which is not. You can find those by going to your app page and looking at app ID right here and the app secret. If you somehow have your app secret in JavaScript, it would no longer be a secret because anyone could view source for your application and copy that app secret. Thankfully, PHP allows you to get the app token without revealing your app secret. So let's take a look. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize Safari. I have my code snippets.txt file already open, and I have my Facebook folder open as well. So I'm going to make a new file here. Right click and create a new file. I'll call this one register achievement.php, and I'm going to open that up. So the first thing I need is just a basic HTML structure, which I have on this first part of this code snippet. And I'll just paste that right there, just a basic HTML page. Next, I need to go ahead and call the JavaScript SDK, which requires me to have a div for Facebook. So I'll go to the code snippets file and get this div of FE root, which is part of Facebook. It's how Facebook places certain messages on your page. I also have a div for my messages, just in case I need some place to put stuff. So back into code snippets. So next I need to load the JavaScript SDK. These are pretty standard functions you should have seen already. This one right here loads the SDK and this one executes once the SDK it has loaded. I'm going to need to put in my app ID right there. So I'll copy this, come in here. It just needs to go somewhere in the head section and I need to switch back to Facebook and get my app ID from here. So I'll copy that and paste it right there. Save that. So next, I need to come over here and actually perform the PHP part. So this is actually going to be a part JavaScript, part PHP function here. So we are creating a variable in JavaScript called app token, and that variable is going to get a string. You can see the little quote right there. And that string is going to be generated by PHP. Notice that it ends right there with the end of the string. So PHP is everything in between this less than site question mark PHP and this question mark greater than sign right here. So all the stuff in between is PHP code. So let me go ahead and copy it and put it somewhere in my app. It doesn't really matter where I put it in here, so I'll put it right after these load JavaScript functions. And looks like I forgot to copy this alert, so let me go ahead and grab that, paste it right there. So that's a back to JavaScript right here. So what we have here is with PHP, we are getting the application ID and app secret. Let me go ahead and do that from my developer page. I'll get the app secret from here. And we'll paste that right here. We'll need the application ID. We don't need to go back because we already used that up here. So I'll just copy it and paste it from there. Yours are going to be different than mine. So make sure you get yours. Here, we're calling the graph API with a URL. And that URL is going to pass along some variables, which is going to be mainly my application ID and my application secret. Once it returns, it's going to be fed into this variable called result. Now I'm getting the data from the URL by using a function called file get contents. That is a method in PHP that allows you to get a file from any URL and feed it into a variable. We're getting the file from the URL that we generated up here, feeding it into the result variable. Next, what we get back from PHP is actually a string that says something like app token equals and then the actual app token. So we need to just get the actual token part, not the app token equals part. So I'm using this other method in PHP called explode that will divide a string into parts and feed it into an array. So here I tell it that the divisor is going to be the equal sign and everything's going to go into this pieces variables. So what I'm going to do next is output the second piece, which will be whatever was to the right of that equal sign, which will be our app token. Then afterwards, I'm going to go ahead and print it out just by using an alert. So I'm going to save that. And I'm going to switch over to Safari. I'll open a new tab and I'll just type in the URL for this page. So that's ID source, Facebook. And I think I used an underscore here, register achievement. Let's see. 
So yeah, that is the right page. It's not showing anything. I didn't get an alert. So let's see what's happening. I'm going to go to the develop menu, show the web inspector. And if I scroll down, I'll take a look at this warning here. Now, it's not showing up because it's actually inside the JavaScript tag. So this is not going to be showing to the users also in the head section, which doesn't necessarily get displayed. But I'm getting a warning from PHP. It says there's something wrong with file get contents. So if I look over here, it says URL file access is disabled in the server configuration for that particular server. So that means that our server does not support the get file contents function. And we can fix that by creating another file called php.ini. So I'm going to make a new file here, call it php.ini. And what that file does is it will override anything in PHP that I want to be different on this folder. So it allows me to execute commands that I normally wouldn't by putting in, you know, some setup information in this file. And let's go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and open this up back into my code snippets. And what I want to do is put in this line. This will allow the file get contents to work in this folder. So I'll put that there. I'll save it and I'll switch back over to our page. I'm going to hit refresh and it looks like it's given us the app token just fine, which is perfect. This is great. We're getting a little error. It's because we don't have the channel file. We're not calling the channel file. If you remember when we were setting up the original document, it gives you this error if you don't set up a channel file, but we don't really need to worry about that. We're only gonna use this page to register our achievements, so that will work fine. So this app token function that we created is going to be actually quite handy. We're gonna need it in other places, PHP can't by default run inside JavaScript files, so we need to have a .php page in order to get the app secret. Other than that, getting an app token with PHP is almost as easy as getting anything with JavaScript.